In today's video, I will show you how to do face filters with augmented reality using Reality Kit inside your React Native application with new architecture without using a third party library. Uh, unfortunately, this video is only for iOS I do, as I don't have an Android device which supports augmented reality. But if you would subscribe to my channel and help me monetize my videos, then I will definitely buy an Android phone and do an a uh, video on this uh, in the future so yeah just so this video is only for ios so let's get started so first i have created a, a react native project and inside that so i will close everything uh, so first create a default react native project uh, next you have to uh, cd to your ios directory in terminal and run this command so this will enable the new architecture for ios next you have to go to fabric native components uh, and first I have, I have created this folder called rtn my ar next i have created a js folder and i have copy pasted uh, then we have to create this typescript file make sure the naming is correct and i have copy pasted this from the docs only this file name has been changed okay next we have to create package.json again this has been copy pasted from the docs only this file name over here has been changed this has been changed and this has been changed okay so here you can see everything so if you scroll to the docs uh, you will find everything okay next we have to create this pod spec file again copy pasted it from the docs only this file name has been changed next uh, once that is done uh, what you have to do is that uh, you have to go to your terminal and run this command uh, then you have to do cd dot dot so i will show you that cd dot. so you have to do so once you run this command uh, but in our case it will be different so you have to run this command then you have to do cd dot dot it will move you outside your react native project and then you have to run this so in this command this would be your folder name main project name this would be your project name so here you can see it is my app for me and this should be your folder name which we have created so it will do code generation for and uh, for ios so here you can see the generated folder been created next what you have to do is that you have to go to the main ios directory so cd to your ios directory and uh, run this command so this will create a pod spec of your rtn my ar file next i have opened the main ios folder uh, inside xcode and here what you have to do is that first you have to create this header file again i have copy pasted this from docs only the file name has been changed next i have created rtn uh, next you have to create this file rtn my er manager this is an object create an objective c file but make sure you change the extension to dot mm so this is important again this file name has been changed uh, the rest everything is copied from documentation uh, next you have to create this rtn my er dot h again make sure you create an objective c file and change the extension to dot mm and here you can see we are first import again copy pasted this from docs only thing that has been changed is that uh, so before writing the code you have to create this swift file as well just create the swift file called my ar and xcode will ask you do you want to create a bridge and header click yes now go back to this rt and my ar and again i have copy pasted this from docs only this file name has been changed over here next i have imported my app dash swift dot h so this my app should be your bridging header file name so here you can see my bridging header file name is my app so whatever is your bridging header file name should come over here and in the docs it tells you to import it like this but we can't because we are writing the code inside the main ios folder so we are we need to import it like this okay so i have commented out this this code next this has been copied from docs only file name has been changed and here we are creating variable of our swift file again this has been copied from docs and here we are occupying the full width and height of the screen and now we are uh, allocating our swift file uh, like uh, creating initializing our swift file and then adding it to our view and next this has been copied from swift file on, uh, from documentation only thing changes this file name next we have to go to my ar and if you remember uh, uh, my previous tutorial on how to show augmented how to do augmented reality kit uh, augmented reality stuff in react native it is pretty much the same only thing that has been changed is this i have created this ui view first then in ar view you have to write ar face tracking configuration because we want to do all obviously face filter and it will open the front camera automatically for you 
next here i am just assigning a background color and adding our view to uh, er view to our view and this is ns layout stuff so that our uh, er filter occupies the entire width and height of our screen next uh, this is boilerplate code which i have copied from docs so this experience should be the same thing as this reality composer file i will tell you how to create this reality composer file but whatever name you gave to this file should be used over here and this would be common for everyone and i will also so inside this reality kit file there is something called glasses i will tell you where exactly it is so whatever name you have given there you should use the same over here and this is boilerplate code which you have to write and again this is boilerplate code but you have to make sure whatever you have given name over in reality kit use the same name okay so this is uh, pretty much it and inside info.plist you have to add this camera permission and go to your my app and uh, make sure uh, in general you um, you know increase the deployment target of ios to 13 because reality kit is only supported from ios 13 and above also in my app go to ios deployment target and increase it to 13. next how to create this file okay so here you can see a face with glasses or goggles or specs whatever you call it so to create this file just click right click on your project new file and choose reality composer project click next and give a name as experience so i already have this file so i won't create it again and other important thing is that once you create this file make sure it is uh, included uh, this uh, target membership is checked okay next uh, uh, now you might be seeing a cube you won't be seeing a face so what you have to do is that click open in reality composer again you will be seeing a cube instead of a face so select that cube select that cube and click delete so it will delete that cube next go inside like expand this anchor drop down and you have to select face now you will be seeing face and here you have to name it as glasses okay so this is what where we have named it and use the same thing in your code as well now how to get these glasses so if you see these glasses are like a 3d model uh, which are in format of usdz so we have to select or download a model so you can download a model from internet like 3d model which is in usdz format only you can't download any other format so just now you can download a 3d model of a hat a mustache a beard or whatever or some other face uh, or specs whatever so just download it in usdz format drag and drop on side inside this file uh, rc project experience.rc project and here then you can uh, you know move it on on your face so here you can see i can move it here however i want so once i move it yeah that should be it uh, you don't have to worry now it will update you over here as well so here you can see updated and now if you run your project you should see uh, er glasses on your face so yeah that's it thank you I, no 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 wait wait i think i forgot something okay now how to use it so you have to just use like import like this and you can use it like this so yeah that's it thank you for watching bye